What's up, guys? Well, the fight just ended. Uh, congrats to Adam Azim. Uh, he stops O'Hara Davies in the eighth round. This fight definitely went a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, I thought for sure he'd be out of there, you know, in six. Hell, I thought within three and with a high probability of round one being the stoppage. But uh, I got to give it up to O'Hara Davies, man. He uh, He was... This is, I mean, he looked better in this fight than he did in the Ritson fight and in the uh, Barroso fight, for sure. Uh, he was he was faster. He was uh, on point more than he was in those fights. Um, you know, he didn't look as slow and as stuck in the mud as stiff uh, in this fight. Now, um, so I, I got to give the guy credit for that. He did a lot better than I thought. I also thought that, you know, with the way he's talking about quitting the boxing, how he don't like boxing no more. I felt that as soon as he started getting touched, that he would, uh, that he wouldn't want to continue, that he want to quit. And his, his nose was, was busted. Uh, and he fought for rounds with a, a busted nose. So, um, and they quit. So, you know, I, I give it up to the guy. Now, when he got caught with that left hook, they showing the replay now, and he went down. I figured for sure he was not going to get up. You know, after you know fighting through that that uh, busted nose, the damage that he took, uh, that that was enough. You know, with how he wanted to get out of boxing, according to him. Um, now Adam Azim, um, you know, definitely, uh, you know, he he has you know a, a decent punch, but we def definitely not going to say he's a a a great. Uh, that well, that that shot right there at the end looks very good. Uh, he doesn't have, you know, high level power, like that one punch KO power, like Barroso, uh, you know, which I wasn't banking on it. I thought that he would overwhelm the guy in the first round, uh, put it on him and, uh, like, a, like a, an accumulation, uh, type stoppage, you know, that's how I view Azim. But, um, guys, uh, there were, uh, I think that he had some countering opportunities, uh, that he did not take advantage of. Uh, you know, especially early in the fight, you know, and also another criticism, I thought that there were times where he was landing shots, but he was not, um, he was not, uh, following up. He was admiring his work a bit too much in my opinion. Uh, you know, I thought that he could have, you know, when he landed some shots, he could have been a little more aggressive than he was. So those are my criticisms, you know, uh, not taking advantage of counter opportunities, which I felt that he would take advantage of all of them because his counter, his counter shots looked very good, uh, from what I saw of him, but he didn't take it advantage of, uh, of those counters. And, um, uh, he, he admired his work a bit too much in my opinion. All right. Um, uh, you know, he was, you know, he was patient. He showed, uh, uh, Davies respect, uh, you know, he did get hit a few times, nothing, you know, to be concerned about, but he did get hit a few times, but, um, I think he should fight with his hands up a little higher, but, um, but, you know, I did expect a, a much sooner stoppage. Uh, I should, I think I lost all the way around on this fight. I didn't profit at all. Uh, cause my plays were based on an early stoppage. So, uh, you know, you know, if, if you played the stoppage out, right. Um, you know, you, uh, then you won on this fight. If you played the under eight and a half, uh, you should have won on that too. Um, seven and a half. I, I think, I think it might've gone over the, uh, the halfway point of the eighth round. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe, maybe I am. Maybe, maybe it didn't go past the halfway point. So that was, you know, seven and a half. That was pretty close, but eight and a half. That was, uh, that was still money. So, uh, congrats if you played that or played uh, Azim just to win by stoppage or the money line. But um, I don't think I probably at all on this fight, guys, because uh, I had the early play. So really, that's it for me. Again, you know, salute to uh, O'Hara Davies, man. He fought better in this fight than uh, than he did in his previous two fights. And uh, to say he wanted out of boxing, I thought that, you know, he, he carried on like a war. He could have quit when his nose was busted and bleeding. I thought he could have um he, he could have sat it out but uh but but he didn't. He he kept on. So uh so salute to him. All right. That's it.
you know, let me know what you guys think. I took a loss on this one. Let me know how you guys did. Good luck to you in uh, any other bets that you placed this weekend. And I'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.